Hello, this is Jamie the Board Game Man. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It's July 4th, so I figured what better day to celebrate the 4th than to do Game of the States for Milton Bradley. Come on down to the gamer's table, I'll show you how to play. Okay, here we go with the board of Game of the States. They have many different versions of this game out here. So there's a lot of the board game that looks different than all the rest. This is the 1960 version. Um, and as you can see, um, you have the product that you'll be shipping back and forth along the side of the board, all around the, the width of the board here. And most games, it seems like it's actually inside the insert of the game. And in this case, in this um, 1960 version, it actually gives you a timeline of the United States. So it's actually pretty cool. It went from 1776 all the way down to 1960s when the game was made. So I think that was a pretty cool. I like, I like this. This is a little history of the United States. Pretty nice. You also have the spinners. It comes on this cardboard, cardboard piece here. And uh, you have one for the, the money and one for the movement. And these are actually pretty cool. These are actually like metal arrows. So they actually spin pretty well. I've seen another version of this, someone had this, and they had red plastic arrows. So I'm kind of happy that this, this actually came uh, with silver uh, arrows, and they're, they spin really, really good. So that's this. You also have the state cards, all 50 of them. These are yellow cards that come with it. And you have all 50 states in here, and so on. Okay. You also have the good old play money that you usually have in all board games. What's a board game without play money, right? Especially vintage ones. This one comes with the $100 and $500 bills. Not much to it when it comes to the money on this one. You also have the four trucks that you'll be driving around in. And I'll show you these. These are actually pretty cool. They're actually little plastic little trucks with a little bin back there so you can put the product in the back. So the typical colors you usually see, red, blue, green, and yellow. And here is the product. I'll just grab a few of these. These are like wood circles, like little wood circles. And this is what your, the product you'll be shipping back and forth. This is what the product is that you're putting in the back of your trucks. So the object of the game is you're picking up product and buying product and then selling product for hopefully a profit. That's pretty much what you're doing in this game. So it's actually pretty fun, very light. And so let's, just, let's go ahead and start this off. Each player starts off by pulling four cards. So what we'll do is you shuffle all the state cards. Let me show an example of one of the state cards here. So we got uh, like Georgia, for instance. It's kind of cool. It shows you a little bit of uh, every game is different. This one actually shows you know when it settled, when it became part of the Union, and you know the capital and all that good stuff. So it's pretty cool. It's actually pretty nice. I'll tell you the population, of course, the population back in 1960. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's only about what uh, 60 years ago. So that's probably double, at least double, even triple, probably by now. But anyway, each one of these cards looks like that, except it just has the state on them. So what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to go ahead and, and pull four cards, each player, and this is where you're going to set your product. So we're going to go ahead and do we're going to do yellow and blue here. So we're going to do blue and yellow is the, is the two colors that we're going to use today. So what you'll do is you're going to pull out the four. Each player has four of these, and it's product. So you got four blue, and then you'll pull out the four yellow. Okay, so let's put these here for now. Okay, now let me go ahead. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put this aside here. That way we get this out of the way. I'll go ahead and put the money here. We're gonna put this aside. That way we have a little more room to maneuver. Here we go. I'll put the spinner and all that stuff here. State cards will be here. We'll put the bank here, and so on. And what happens is, whoever gets. Let me tell you how much money you start off with. Now, in this game, like I said, every game is different. Uh, this game, you're going to start off with $5,000. You're going to get eight $500 bills and ten $100 bills. So that's how you start the game like that. So each player starts off with 5000 So what you're going to do is player blue here, player one, is going to pull four state cards. And on these state cards, this is where you're going to put your product. So, for instance, we have Texas here. So you're going to put a blue on Texas. New Jersey, so 
we're going to put a blue on New Jersey, which is going to be, let's see where they have it here, because the smaller states, they have a little, there we go, right there. They have them on the outside, so that you're able to, to find them. Pennsylvania is another one. We put a blue in Pennsylvania. And finally, you got Georgia. So this is kind of an East Coast guy here, except for Texas. Uh, Georgia. So these four states, this is where you're going to put your four um, products. Okay, so you got those. Now what you're going to do is for the yellow, you're going to do the same thing. So the yellow is going to take the top four cards. So you know the placement of where your stuff's going to be. Okay, so he's going to have Washington. So you're going to put a yellow over here in Washington. <laughs> now we got a West Coast guy. It looks like California, where I'm from here. So we're going to do California down here. We got Wyoming. So put one in Wyoming. And finally, we got, oh, he, I guess he had to have one in back east. We're going to have Rhode Island. So he's going to have one in Rhode Island. So we're going to go ahead and put this final yellow in Rhode Island right there. Okay. So after you figure out where your product is going to be, now you're going to figure out where your trucks are going to start. Okay? So the blue is going to pick a card, and blue is going to start in Arkansas. So here he goes. So that's going to be his starting point. So blue is going to go in Arkansas right here. Okay? Yellow is going to pull a card and find out where he starts, and it's going to be North Dakota. So North Dakota, he's going to be over there. So yellow starts in North Dakota. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to pick up your opponent's product, okay? That's what you're probably pretty much going to do is you're going to pick up your opponent's product. You're going to, well, let me go ahead and show you. So blue is going to go first. Blue is going to spin a one. So what's going to happen is he just moves one space. So wherever the state connects, you can go through. So I can go down here, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, or Missouri. I can go in either one of those. Well, I want to head towards Georgia, so I'm going to go ahead and go Mississippi. So he's going to go one to Mississippi, and that's it for that turn. Yellow is going to spin a three. Now, yellow, this is his own, so you cannot pick up your own yet. If there comes a time in the game where everybody else, all your opponent's pieces are gone, then you can go after your own. Or there's another um, way to do that, and I'll, I'll show that to you in a second. So three. So the closest one he has is Texas. He's going to probably try to shoot down Texas first. He's going to one, two, three, like that. Blue is going to spin a two. Now, blue wants to head towards, I'm sorry, you know what? I was heading towards my own one here. He wants to pretty much go towards the west coast here because three out of the four he has um, that he needs to pick up are over here. So, one, two, he's going to go over here. Yellow is going to spin a three. And you don't have to go by exact count. See, he's only two, two spaces away. You do not have to pick up in exact count, okay? So, he's going to go ahead and he's going to pick up this blue right here. Okay, now, what he's going to find out is, uh, what are you selling here in Texas? So you can actually see you got sheep, you got, I believe that's ox, or cattle, I'm sorry, cotton, and then you got oil, okay? So what he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and he's going to buy this from the blue player, okay? So what he's going to do is he's going to spin it $600. Now, you can play this either two, of way, two ways. You can actually spin it once, and that's what you have to pay him. Or you can play a different way where there's, if he doesn't like the first spin, he can say, you know what, I don't like it, spin it a second time. I think it's kind of fun to do it that way, do it a second time. It, but it might be lower, so you got to be careful. So he thinks you might be able to spin more than $600. Now on this wheel, I believe $1,200 is the highest on here, so he can possibly double it. He goes, you know what, I want you to spin again, I'm not going to accept $600. So he goes ahead and spins again, and it is $500. So he actually lost $100 on there. So what happens is yellow is going to pay... Blue, $500 for the loot, all right? So player one gets the 500, okay? Now, what he does next, after he finds out what he's selling, what he's gonna, how much he just bought it for, now he, he takes a card, and he's gonna find out where he needs to travel to sell the product. In this case, it is Vermont. So he's gonna go ahead and go to Vermont. So he's gonna hang on to Vermont in front of him, and now he knows the way he needs to go. So he's gonna to try to make his way over to Vermont over here, okay? So here we go. So Blue's gonna spin. Blue's gonna to try to make it over here. He gets a two. Let's just see. Oh, actually he can. This connects here, this connects here. So just like that, he's in Wyoming, okay? So he's gonna go ahead and pick up the loot here. And he says, uh, let's see, see so he has, let's see, we got uh, uranium in here. 
He's got sheep. He's got corn. He's got three different items that he makes over here. So you're going to ask him which one do you want to sell. He, you know, he tells, let's just say he says corn. Then what happens is you're going to pick a card just like Yellow did and find out where you're going to deliver it to. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. you got to buy it first. So Blue is going to spin $200. Well, Yellow's not going to like that. I want you to spin that again. So he's going to buy it, and now it is $300. So now he's going to pay, Blue is going to pay Yellow $300 to take his uh, corn. Now he's going to draw a card to find out where he needs to deliver it to. He's going to deliver it to Michigan. So Michigan's the state that he's going to be going to. So Vermont is player two over here. Michigan's going to be right here. And just like that, he knows. And what's good is Michigan isn't that far. Michigan's just right here. So he had, you know, one, two, three. Well, three is the max you can roll on here, spin on here. So it'll probably take a couple turns to get over there. Now, so yellow's going to go. Yellow goes one. He's going to start maneuvering his way over to Vermont. Now, let's say blue makes it over here. Blue makes it over to Michigan. Now he's going to sell it to yellow. So what he does is he's going to say, okay, let me see how much I can sell this for. So he remembered that he bought this for $300 from yellow. So hopefully he makes some profit here. So he spins it. Now it's the blues opportunity to decide how much he wants to sell it for. This says $600. Now he did, Now he, he bought that for $300. So that's doubling his money right there. Does he want to press his luck or not? Yes, he does. He wants to get more for it. He's going to spin it again and he gets $800. So just like that. Yellow has to buy his product for $800. So yellow pays him $800. He's going to take this because, remember, he, he this was corn. He's going to go ahead and set it in, on one of the corns on the outside here. Let's see if I can find a corn. There's a corn right there. And you can set it right here. Okay? And that turn is done. So he gets the $800, and we're good to go. Yellow makes his way over to Vermont, which is right here. Oh, where, where's Vermont? I think it's way over here. I think it's one of these tiny ones over here. Let's see. I know Vermont's up in here somewhere. Very, very small over here. So he makes it to Vermont. And he does the same thing. Yellow's going to try to sell it to blue. So yellow's going to spin. It says 300. No, I want more for that. 500. So then yellow, uh, blue is going to pay yellow $500. And since this was, uh, I said it was oil, he's going to put it on the oil spot on the board just like that and then what you yellow does is he goes to pick up another blue one blue's gonna pick up another yellow one and so on now what happens is say blue has one of yellows and he's in Illinois and say he's making his way to Kansas okay now you can see on two spaces I think some of these games they actually have three but this one has two one has flat tire don't move break down lose turn if he were to spin it on one of these what happens is wherever he's at, he's going to drop the load. Okay. Now, if by chance on this turn, before blue has another turn again, if somebody else comes through and picks, they could pick it up from him. <coughs> even yellow. So even if you're the same player, you can come by. Say, you know, he's in Kentucky and he spins a one or something. He can come right up here and scoop up his own. And get a hundred dollars for it. So that that's what's cool. He gets a, he pays under hundred bucks, pay a hundred dollars, and that's it. So that that's actually a pretty good deal right there. So that, but that's only on that one turn. So say so, you know nobody can get to him. By the time his turn comes back around, he can just pick it back up and then continue on. So it's just that one quick turn where you lose your your loot, and then uh, you have to wait for that to come back up, and then boom, go on and so on. So that's that's that. Yeah. So that's what happens is. If it drops and yellow comes up and picks it up, then he pays that, that unlucky truck there $100. And then he's going to continue the way. He's going to see where this was going. Actually, on his way to Michigan, or he was on, say he was on his way to Michigan, he would just pay the blue truck $100. bucks. he would go up to Michigan and then turn around and sell it. And boom, $1,200. Bucks. That would have been, that's a great deal. He would have made $1,100 in that round just like that. If it just so happened he picked it up. But like I said, if he, if nobody comes around, and say nobody made it there, by the time the blue turn comes back around, he just picks it back up, and he proceeds to where he needs to go. Okay? And one last thing. Say that all the yellows are done. So say all the yellows are done, 
Everyone else is done. Only the blues are left on the board. Okay. So say blue is the only one that's left. And blues just so happens to come around on one of his own. <coughs> He's allowed to pick up his own only if there's no other opponent's product on the, on the board. Okay. If that happens, he will pay no money for the product and then draws a designated state, a destination state card and, and proceeds to deliver it. Once he delivers it to that state, each of the opponents must give him $200 special bonus to pay for moving his own product. So not only do you get $200 for each of your players, you, on top of that, get to go wherever you need to go and spin it and make money that way as well. So... That is a huge plus. And just like that, after all the product has been picked up and delivered, everyone counts up their money, and whoever has the most money at the end of the game wins.